All right, well, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get into this a little bit here. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back, or welcome if you're new. I've seen a couple new subscribers. I know it's been a hot minute since I put a video out. It's got a lot going on, you know? So, I don't know if the title is going to be too clickbaity. I'm going to try not to be, but... Uh, I rode about a thousand miles when I first bought this bike on the stock seat, and it was brutal. I'd get 45 minutes into a ride, man, my ass was killing me, my tailbone, tailbone just blew up. So I shopped, like you know, like everybody else does, and you got your Corbins and your Saddlebins and your Mustangs and whatever other brands are out there, Harley has theirs. So, and, and looking for more passion and comfort too, we needed something with a little bit more of a cushion in the rear. And tons of reviews, like I said, every, now, now don't, don't take this the wrong way. I, I am well aware that everybody's backside is different. Everybody's got different uh, abilities, tolerances. <laughs> but man, everything I've read, and, uh, and don't get me wrong, Mustang that is a great seat. I'm not putting them down at all. I see plenty of riders rocking Mustang seats. So I've got about 10,000 miles on this seat. And after all the reviews I've read, they were like, oh, yeah, man, switched out from the stock seat, and I can ride thousands of miles, man, without getting sore. Everything's great, you know. Everything, everything's just perfect. And I don't know if they got better suspension or you know, whatever else is going on. So I'm like, oh, okay. You know, Saddleman, I got good reviews about Saddleman and Corbin. Sure, I read, I read good deals about them. So I decided on the Mustang. Uh, it's a bigger seat, a little wider. I, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a slender feller. I'm working on it and uh, spent some good money on it. Put it on, it. and uh, I know there's a break-in period. I'm not sure exactly how many miles that break-in period should be, but I would assume by 10,000 miles it should be broken in. Now, I still, I, now I will say, I, I can ride for a little bit longer than the 45 minutes in stock. But I, honestly, an hour and a half, and I don't know if this is normal, an hour and a half, I'm, I'm getting a little fidgety, I'm just not super comfortable. comfortable. Uh, it just, my tailbone starts to hurt. I don't know, hour and a half, hour, 45, hour two, hour two. Two hours, maybe. So, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. You know, I see a lot of people rock those uh, the, the wild ass seat cushions, or Airhawk, I think, is another brand. Uh, you can always go generic, whatever you find on Amazon. But I was hoping I wouldn't need to add more stuff. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not a long distance rider, man. I've been watching these guys, uh, Sets of Pendants and Riot, and these guys doing the the rides up to Alaska and around Texas and all over the place. My God, these guys are laying down some serious miles, and I know they have those wild ass uh, cushions. So, you know, that, that makes me wonder, do I need to add something like that or do I just consider this, not considered a loss, but a, a trial and uh, switch to something else? I've been kind of poking around again and looking at a Saddleman uh, ice. Uh, so, but again, it's another uh, $600 uh, versus maybe one of those wild asses too. $200 versus or the, the Airhawks that are about 99 I think, for the bigger ones. I don't know. 
I'm just not comfortable on the seat like everybody reviewed it saying, oh yeah, man, this the, you know, the cat's meow. So maybe I should move to another seat. Maybe I should pick another brand and see what uh, uh, see what they have to offer. I, I just don't want to keep dropping money into something. Well, I mean, okay. Let me let me clarify. I've got no problem spending money uh, on stuff. Uh, it's the uh, the co-financier in the house that. You know, wants me to make sure I'm not being too perfect. So what do you think? What are you guys rocking? What do you guys have on your seats? Do you just run a cushion? Do you run the stock seat? Or do you have a callus tailbone and you're and you're good with whatever, man. You can sit on a brick. I'm just trying to figure out what to do here. In no, in no way am I putting down Mustang. Uh, it's a nice seat. It's well constructed. I have not had any quality issues with this seat. I'm just, I'm just not comfortable on it after two hours. Will be the max, and I've got to get off. Or maybe that's normal. I think there's a lot of traffic today. So that's my question. That's that's my my little review. Not review. My little. My little uh, whatever on the seat. Is it me? Is it the seat? Would I be better off switching to something else or do I just throw another cushion on it? I'd, I'd rather not do that, but I can. So, all right, guys, have a good one. Again, let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, let me know opinions about seats. I know everybody's different. Every <laughs> Is that kind of like asking what kind of oil do you put in your car? All right, well, I checked the GPS before leaving work and it says there's an accident up here. So, maybe I'll get off the highway early, which would extend my ride. Not necessarily a bad thing. All right, guys, I hope you are enjoying your day and uh, we'll, we'll catch you on the next one. Hey, like I was saying, all right, everybody, have a good day, and we'll catch you on the next one. So long. Uh...